C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 7 congruence of triangles page 146 7.7 7. congruence among right angled triangles Congruence in the case of two right triangles deserves special attention. In such triangles, obviously, the right angles are equal. So, the congruence criterion becomes easy. Can you draw triangle ABC, shown in figure 7.29, with angle B is equal to 90 degrees, if 1. Only BC is known. 2. Only angle C is known. 3. Angle A and angle C are known. 4. AB and BC are known. 5. AC and one of AB or BC are known. Try these with rough sketches. You will find that 4 and 5 help you to draw the triangle. But case 4 is simply the SAS condition. Case 5 is something new. This leads to the following criterion. RHS congruence criterion. If under a correspondence, the hypotenuse and one side of a right-angled triangle are respectively equal to the hypotenuse and one side of another right-angled triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Why do we call this RHS congruence? Think about it. Page 147 Example 8 Given below are measurements of some parts of two triangles. Examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not, using RHS congruence rule. In case of congruent triangles, write the result in symbolic form. Triangle ABC, Triangle PQR 1. Angle B is equal to 90 degrees. AC is equal to 8 centimeters. AB is equal to 3 centimeters. Angle P is equal to 90 degrees. PR is equal to 3 centimeters. QR is equal to 8 centimeters. 2. Angle A is equal to 90 degrees. AC is equal to 5 centimeters. BC is equal to 9 centimeters. Angle Q is equal to 90 degrees. PR is equal to 8 centimeters. PQ is equal to 5 centimeters. Solution 1. Here, angle B is equal to angle P, which is equal to 90 degrees. Hypotenuse AC is equal to hypotenuse RQ which is equal to 8 centimeters, and side AB is equal to side RP, which is equal to 3 centimeters. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RPQ by RHS congruence rule. Figure 7.301 2. Here, angle A is equal to angle Q, which is equal to 90 degrees and side AC is equal to side PQ, which is equal to 5 cm. But hypotenuse BC is not equal to hypotenuse PR, figure 7.302. So, the triangles are not congruent. Example 9. In figure 7.31, DA is perpendicular to AB. CB is perpendicular to AB and AC is equal to BD. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ABC and triangle DAB. Which of the following statements is meaningful? 1. 
triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD. 2. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Figure 7.31 Triangle ADB and triangle ABC are given. Angle A is equal to angle B is equal to 90 degrees. Solution The three pairs of equal parts are Angle ABC is equal to angle BAD which is equal to 90 degrees. AC is equal to BD given AB is equal to BA common side. From the above, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD by RHS congruence rule. So, statement 1 is true. Statement 2 is not meaningful in the sense that the correspondence among the vertices is not satisfied. Page 148 Try these. 1. In figure 7.32, measures of some parts of triangles are given. By applying RHS congruence rule, state which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruent triangles, write the result in symbolic form. Figure 7.32 1. Here, triangle PQR and triangle DEF are given in which PQ is equal to 3 cm, PR is equal to 6 cm, angle Q is equal to 90 degrees, and DE is equal to 2.5 cm, DF is equal to 6 cm, angle E is equal to 90 degrees. 2. Here, triangle ACB and triangle ADB are given in which AC is equal to 2 cm, AB is equal to 3.5 cm, BD is equal to 2 cm, angle C is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degrees. 3. Here, triangle ABC and triangle ADC are given in which AB is equal to AD is equal to 3.6 cm and angle B is equal to angle D is equal to 90 degrees. 4. Here, triangle PQS and triangle PSR are given in which PQ is equal to PR is equal to 3 cm and angle PSQ is equal to angle PSR is equal to 90 degrees. 2. It is to be established by RHS congruence rule that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle RPQ. What additional information is needed if it is given that angle B is equal to angle P which is equal to 90 degrees, and AB is equal to RP. 3. In figure 7.33, BD and CE are altitudes of triangle ABC, such that BD is equal to CE. 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle CBD and triangle BCE. 2. Is triangle CBD congruent to triangle BCE? Why or why not? 3. Is angle DCB equal to angle EBC? Why or why not? Figure 7.33 Triangle ABC is given in which BD and CE are perpendiculars drawn on sides AC and AB respectively. 4. ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB is equal to AC and AD is one of its altitudes. Figure 7.34 1. State the three pairs of equal parts in triangle ADB and triangle ADC. 2. Is triangle ADB congruent to triangle ADC? Why or why not? 3. Is angle B equal to angle C? Why or why not? 4. Is BD equal to CD? Why or why not? Figure 7.34
triangle ABC is given in which angle ADB is equal to angle ADC is equal to 90 degrees. Page 149 We now turn to examples and problems based on the criteria seen so far. Exercise 7.2 1. Which congruence criterion do you use in the following? A. Given AC is equal to DF, AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF. So, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Here, triangle ABC and triangle DEF are given. B. Given ZX is equal to RP, RQ is equal to ZY. Angle PRQ is equal to angle XZY. So, triangle PQR is congruent to triangle XYZ. Here, triangle PQR and triangle XYZ are given. C. Given angle MLN is equal to angle FGH. Angle NML is equal to angle GFH. ML is equal to FG, so triangle LMN is congruent to triangle GFH. Here, triangle LMN and triangle FGH are given. D. Given EB is equal to DB, AE is equal to BC, angle A is equal to angle C, which is equal to 90 degrees. So, Triangle ABE is congruent to triangle CDB. Here, triangle ABE and triangle BCD are given. 2. You want to show that triangle ART is congruent to triangle PEN. A. If you have to use SSS criterion, then you need to show 1. AR is equal to dash 2 RT is equal to dash 3 AT is equal to dash B if it is given that angle T is equal to angle N and you are to use SAS criterion you need to have 1 RT is equal to dash and 2 PN is equal to dash C. If it is given that AT is equal to PN and you are to use ASA criterion, you need to have 1 dash 2 dash. Here, triangle ART and triangle PEN are given. Page 150. 3. You have to show that Triangle AMP is congruent to triangle AMQ. In the following proof, supply the missing reasons. Steps Reasons 1. PM is equal to QM. 1. Dash 2. Angle PMA is equal to angle QMA. 2. Dash 3. AM is equal to AM. 3. Dash. 4. Triangle AMP is congruent to triangle AMQ. 4. Dash. Here, triangle PMA and AMQ are given, in which PM is equal to AM, and angle PMA is equal to angle QMA, and AM is the common side of both triangles. 4. In triangle ABC, angle A is equal to 30 degrees, angle B is equal to 40 degrees, and angle C is equal to 110 degrees. In triangle PQR, angle P is equal to 30 degrees, angle Q is equal to 40 degrees, and angle R is equal to 110 degrees. A student says that Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by 
AAA congruence criterion. Is he justified? Why or why not? 5. In the figure, the two triangles are congruent. The corresponding parts are marked. We can write triangle RAT is congruent to dash. Here, two triangles ART and OWN are given, in which AR is equal to OW, AT is equal to ON, and angle A is equal to angle O. Angle R is equal to angle W, angle T is equal to angle N. 6. Complete the congruence statement. Triangle BCA is congruent to dash. Triangle QRS is congruent to dash. 7. In a squared sheet, draw two triangles of equal areas such that 1. The triangles are congruent. 2. The triangles are not congruent. What can you say about their perimeters? 8. Draw a rough sketch of two triangles such that they have five pairs of congruent parts, but still the triangles are not congruent. 9. If triangle ABC and triangle PQR are to be congruent, name one additional pair of corresponding parts. What criterion did you use? Here, two triangles ABC and PQR are given, in which angle B is equal to angle Q, angle C is equal to angle R. Page 151 10. Explain why triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED. In this question, two triangles ABC and DEF are given. Enrichment activity. We saw that superposition is a useful method to test congruence of plane figures. We discussed conditions for congruence of line segments, angles, and triangles. You can now try to extend this idea to other plane figures as well. 1. Consider cutouts of different sizes of squares. Use the method of superposition to find out the condition for congruence of squares. How does the idea of corresponding parts under congruence apply? Are there corresponding sides? Are there corresponding diagonals? 2. What happens if you take circles? What is the condition for congruence of two circles? Again, you can use the method of superposition. Investigate. 3. Try to extend this idea to other plane figures like regular hexagons, etc. 4. Take two congruent copies of a triangle. By paper folding, investigate if they have equal altitudes. Do they have equal medians? What can you say about their perimeters and areas? What have we discussed? 1. Congruent objects are exact copies of one another. 2. The method of superposition examines the congruence of plane figures. 3. Two plane figures, say F1 and F2, are congruent if the trace copy of F1 fits exactly on that of F2. We write this as F1 is congruent to F2. 4. Two line segments, say line segments AB and CD, are congruent if they have equal lengths. We write this as line segment AB is congruent to line segment CD. However, it is common to write it as line segment AB is equal to line segment CD. 5. Two angles, say angle ABC 
and angle PQR are congruent if their measures are equal. We write this as angle ABC is congruent to angle PQR or as M angle ABC is equal to M angle PQR. However, in practice, it is common to write it as angle ABC is equal to angle PQR. 6. SSS congruence of two triangles. Under a given correspondence, two triangles are congruent if the three sides of the one are equal to the three corresponding sides of the other. 7. SAS congruence of two triangles. Under a given correspondence, two triangles are congruent if two sides and the angle included between them in one of the triangles are equal to the corresponding sides and the angle included between them of the other triangle. Page 152 8. ASA congruence of two triangles Under a given correspondence, Two triangles are congruent if two angles and the side included between them in one of the triangles are equal to the corresponding angles and the side included between them of the other triangle. 9. RHS congruence of two right-angled triangles Under a given correspondence, Two right-angled triangles are congruent if the hypotenuse and a leg of one of the triangles are equal to the hypotenuse and the corresponding leg of the other triangle. 10. There is no such thing as AAA congruence of two triangles. Two triangles with equal corresponding angles need not be congruent. In such a correspondence, one of them can be an enlarged copy of the other. They would be congruent only if they are exact copies of one another. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India